it is now Saturday morning, about 10 o'clock. We're about to get ready for the day, and then we're gonna go to Lowe's. One of the gifts that my sister got me was like a hanging plant. So we're gonna go to Lowe's and look for the little thing that you put in the wall that comes out so you can hang the plant. So we're gonna look for that. On today's agenda, all we have is to go to Lowe's and um, our church is doing a an early Valentine's Day lunch. Today's the 9th, so it's a few days early. Not a lunch, it's a dinner, but um, I think the money goes to like a youth group or something, so me and Scott are going, my sister and her husband are going, and my mom and dad are going. So that's from six to eight, so we have that to look forward to, but other than that, I don't know what else we're doing today. But I'm gonna get ready, and it's not gonna be anything fancy. I don't ever do anything fancy, just enough so that I don't look like I didn't get any sleep. But, that's what we're gonna do. This is the brush that I showed yesterday, the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I'm gonna use it to buff out the concealer and then put powder down on top. soft. I really like that. I'm going to use it for bronzer too. Just want to make sure you do it on your neck too so that your face doesn't look bronze or so your face yeah you don't want your face to look bronze and your neck to not look bronze so find the forehead take a smaller brush and put that same bronzer on my eyelids just so that it looks so super white. See what a difference it makes this one's kind of aggressive right now but then you brush it out but it just fills in some like sparse spots and makes them look more formed but if I'm in a super rush then you can just do um, a brown eyeshadow with like a really small pencil and run it through and that really helps too So after brushing, it looks a lot more natural, less drawn on. But then I'm gonna use this, which I showed um, in yesterday's video, the e.l.f. 
clear um, eyebrow and eyelash mascara. But this just sets it for the whole day. It's like super glue. Love it. So now these brows that I worked so hard on will stay put. And then after that, we just have mascara. I, my favorite right now is the Lash Sensational Maybelline. This is what I've been using for a long time. I'm gonna pull this closer so I can really see. And I don't ever curl my lashes. It would probably help if I did, but the lash curler like freaks me out. I don't really like it. So I just don't use it. And I got, you probably can't tell, I got some um, mascara on my lid. And so I take my eyebrow brush, this, and it's the only thing I found that will get the mascara off your lid without like smearing it and making the whole problem worse. It just flakes off with this. I'll put a little on my lower lash. I don't always do that. And then maybe a little bit. I'm really not a lipstick person, but I also don't want my lips to just fade away and you not be able to see them. So usually if I do anything, I'll just put a little bit of nude and then just like use my finger to sheer it out even more. I very much prefer like the natural look, so you can't really, I mean, you can tell I'm wearing makeup, but it's not too, too much. Tonight for the Valentine's Day thing, I might um, try to like elevate the look a little bit, maybe put some more shadow and a darker lipstick, but we'll see. Okay, let's go to Lowe's. We just left Lowe's. We got this little, let me see, hanger, a 15 inch forged hook. So hopefully we can put it in the wall and it'll hold the um, plant with that. And then now we brought Darcy to the park. She did pretty well at Lowe's, but she gets real, um, not anxious, but like worked up a little bit. So we bring her here, or we brought her here to get rid of some of her energy before we go home and set up the plant. This is the rug that we got at Target. It's a five by seven. Uh, Project 62 is the brand and it's like a dark gray and with white little stripes. So it matches pretty well in here. And then this is the plant that we hung. So it's kind of dark, but you can see that it's got, put that hook up there and then it hangs. It's called a creeping fig. And so the idea is that it'll drape down as it grows, it'll hang lower and lower. You can see Darcy running around in the back. But I think it looks really cute there. We are watching The Walking Dead. We're on season five, episode one. We've been watching for like, I'm out of months, I'd say. like two or three weeks, I'd say. Usually we go through shows pretty fast, probably like everybody else. But we just got out our Brewster's ice cream and usually when we go, we get waffle cones, which for two waffle cones, it's like $10, right? Yeah. And so they have, thank you, get back up. So they have pints, two for $8, so it's cheaper and you get so much more. This is like three servings or something, but we both got, she says hey but we both got cookie craze which is the best flavor it was 
like a October or November, like a, I think it was October seasonal or something, but they kept it, I think, because it's February, they still have it, because it is a fan favorite. What do you, what would you say it is? It's like vanilla ice cream with like the dinosaur cookies and then Oreos and chocolate chip cookie dough. So it's like blue. It's like vanilla ice cream that they dyed blue. And then it has those green cookies, which is the best part. But the point is, it's real good. We have two pints, because we're not gonna share. So we have to get our own pints. But we're gonna watch The Walking Dead. It's about, I don't even have my watch on. It's about three o'clock. And we have the Valentine's dinner at six o'clock. So we got about another hour or so before we need to get ready. So we're gonna eat ice cream before and watch The Walking Dead. And Darcy's gonna watch and lick our balls. All right. All right. We are ready and about to head out to the Valentine's Day dinner at church. Um, they said it was gonna be swanky which neither one of us really knows what that word means, so we dressed up kinda nice, and we'll see what it's like. We just got back from the Valentine's Day dinner at church. It was really good. Um, I didn't get any footage, but I had chicken, baked potato, salad, and chocolate cake, and he had the same except steak instead of chicken. So, um, like I said, I think I mentioned earlier, my sister and her husband went, and my mom and dad went, but we all kind of sat at different tables. We, it was like a signed seating, but me and my sister and Scott and Daniel all got, we were all at the same table, but my parents were somewhere else. But dinner was good, everything was fine. And then afterwards, they did like a marriage game show. And so right when you walked in, everybody got, each couple got um, a little raffle ticket. And so the preacher, picked them out of a hat and so then what happened Scott? We were the first number to get called. We were the first. We've never got picked for anything and we got called and so we were just in shock and so it was three couples and so we walk up first because we were the number one to be called and then what happened Scott? Then they called Karen Daniel. Then the second couple that got called was my sister and her husband and so my sister was like <laughs> we just heard her yell shut up and then they walked up and so we were worried my mom and dad were gonna get picked next because there was probably like 20 to 30 couples and so the fact that both of us got pulled back to back and then the other one was this other couple and so we've been married for a little over a year and my sister and Daniel have been married about five years and then this other couple have been married 10 years but it was so funny so first they the guys left the room and then they asked us three questions if you've ever seen a marriage game show, that's how it goes. And then they come back and guess the answer, and then the opposite happens. And so afterwards, it was tied. Yeah, it was tied between us. And it was tied between me and Scott and my sister and her husband. So then they did tiebreaker question, which was a two-part, which was um, what I think his best physical feature and worst physical feature. And so then... Scott got both of them right, and Daniel, my sister's husband, got both of them right. So then we were still tied. So then they made us do a duel of me and Kara, rock, paper, scissors, best out of three. And it came, we tied, like we did the same one twice. And then it was two to one, right? No, one to one. Oh, yeah, it was one to one. Me and Kara both were tied again. And then I got her, I think with paper. Yep. And I won. And we won a $25. Outback gift card, but it was seriously so funny. Don't you think? It was pretty hilarious. It was really funny. And my mom and dad were in the crowd, so some of these questions were like about physical features and like even just like annoying things that you do, but it was just so funny. My mom was crying in the crowd, and one of the questions was like, how would Scott, what adjective would he use to describe my family and all kind of stuff. It was just so funny. My cheeks hurt from laughing. What do you have to say about it? It was fun. It was, it's kind of different. We had seen some of these type shows like when we've been on cruises. And so it would have been different like being on a cruise ship and not knowing like the 3,000 people around you. you but would you're been more in a, honest, you think? I don't know if more honest, but it just, I don't know. It wouldn't have felt so awkward, but you're there in like the church that you go to every single week. And there's it's a very much a smaller setting. So it, it was a little different, but it was fun. I was real honest. 
Scott was cheesy sometimes, you think? A little cheesy. A little cheesy. He played it safe sometimes. I was real honest. And on the ones that I was real honest on, most well, some of them you got right. Yeah. Really just the first round, we didn't do too hot, but we came in at the end, and we won. And it was really fun, so we had a really good time. And I think now it's like 9 o'clock, so we're probably just going to watch The Walking Dead like we always do. And then go to bed. Go to bed. And go to bed. But yeah, the Valentine's dinner was really fun. Mostly because we got picked and we don't ever get picked. And then we won. I was doing stretches for the, um, the rock, rock paper scissors, the rock off. Yeah, we were under the spotlight. It was very intense. But it was a lot of fun and it's even funner when you win. Do it. When you're number one, everybody else is a loser. Loser, loser. Double loser. Okay, it's time to watch The Walking Dead. Thank you.